Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look and reacting to a subscriber's first nuke here in Black Ops Cold War. I always like watching these videos because I'm always amazed at how you guys played this game, and I just like to see you guys drop your first nuke. So, with all that being said, the like goal on this video has to be 650 likes. If we can get 650 likes in under 24 hours, That'd be absolutely incredible. Now, let me know down in the comment section how many nukes, if any, you guys have here in Black Ops Cold War. Also, if you guys want to submit your gameplay for me to react to or break down, my Twitter link is going to be at the top of the description in this video. Please send me your gameplay, have it be a full gameplay, and I might check it out and react to it in a video. So, let's go ahead and see how my boy Seymour T dropped his first nuke here in Black Ops Cold War. So he's running the Diamond Mac 10. Ah, oh, he's lying down. Huh. What's he doing here? Let me go ahead and turn this volume up for y'all. Alright, he's already turned up. Alright, took him out with the Mac 10. Again, this is another uh, situation uh, I feel people are not running max FOV. Does this man got motion blur on? Oh my god, he does. Oh my god, he's running motion blur. Yo, he has on motion blur. I don't know how he's playing the game. Yo, brother, take off motion blur and take off the ADS motion blur. Oh, wow. This is the first time I've... This has kind of hurt my eyes, no cap. First time I've ever seen somebody play with motion blur on. What? Jesus. He's got a colorblind filter as well. Well, this is kind of... Oh, my God. My man's just playing hella tactical, too. He's just listening for footsteps. He's using my Mac 10 class setup as well. So, hey. Tell you guys, these class setups work. I know a lot of you guys have been dropping nukes. A lot of you guys have been sending me your gameplays. Um, I've been seeing a lot of my Twitter DMs. A lot of you guys have been tweeting me getting your either your first nuke or your highest KD or your most kills. I love seeing that. So if you guys, you know, use my class setup and absolutely go off in a lobby, please feel free to tweet me that uh, screenshot or the gameplay. I always respond. I love seeing that stuff and I love reacting to it as you guys can see here. But this is crazy, brother. Take off motion blur and the world motion blur. Jesus, you guys taking out right there. He's just maneuvering around the outskirts of the map. The smart. There he goes on a two. Jeez, man. I, honestly, this is so. I've never really watched the gameplay with the motion blur on because I always turn it off because I already know it's just going to be kind of annoying to play. But I don't know how y'all be playing with some of these settings, man. Some of y'all be playing on like 90 FOV. Some of y'all now I see play with the world motion blur. Holy shit. <laughs> this is crazy. I have no idea how you dropped this nuke, but you know, GG's to you, brother. Because this is. I mean, honestly, I should. I should literally, like challenge myself to drop a nuke playing with motion blur on the world motion blur the ads motion blur with the max sensitivity that literally would be an incredible nuke if anybody can drop that send me that in my twitter dms i'm 110 percent going to go ahead and react to that because that would be ridiculous I mean, the game looks kind of weird. I mean, obviously, theater mode makes the game look kind of distorted, which is cool. But because some of you guys I know don't have an Elgato. But my God, I don't know how y'all be playing with this motion blur on. My man's just snapping. He's playing on mouse and keyboard as well, as you guys can see. Ooh, get out of there. Nice. Smart play. Run away. 
There we go. Nice. All right. He's not using his, uh, he's not putting on his armor the fast way. I'm not too sure if that's difficult to do on the PC because he's playing on mouse and keyboard. I know on controller you just press Y immediately. You probably could do it on PC, but it might be a little bit more annoying. Because I've noticed a lot of people who play on PC, especially mouse and keyboard, they don't run the vest. And when they do run the vest, they don't put it in, they don't call it in quick. So I'm assuming that's something that is a PC thing where it, it might not be as easy to do as a controller. A lot of things in this game I feel like are a lot easier to do on the controller. If I sound a little bit sick, it's because I got caught in the rain and... Um, <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice. He's, he fast forwarded this part. GG's. Because I had to. I, I, no, I don't have to do it. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, if you guys could fast forward through the kind of like the you know the halftime, that'd be greatly appreciated. That's less editing on my end. <laughs> so appreciate that, brother. Uh, he still got his air patrol. Very smart to run air patrol. Um, I also like this gameplay he sent me. Obviously, I don't watch these gameplays before I actually check them out. Uh, he's not running a war machine. He's getting all his kills with his gun. Honestly, I, I don't think I've ever ran the uh, Air Patrol once on this game. Man, I sound sick as hell just thinking about it. I apologize, fellas, but your boy got caught the rain. All right, he's on a 10. Got his armor again. Yeah, I think it's a PC thing. He got his harp. This colorblind filter, this colorblind filter looks hella weird too. It's nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Like I have filters on my monitor because I play on an ASUS Tough monitor, but this actually looks really, really nice with this filter. I know you're gonna watch this video. Let me know down in the comment section. I think a lot of people probably are gonna be wondering too, what colorblind filter are you playing on? Because this actually looks very, very nice very clear and i think i'm actually going to switch to this immediately because this is actually very nice this is why i like watching your guys's gameplays because i pick up and learn so much stuff um from some of you guys running your settings you know sometimes how you guys play the maps how you guys move the maps i learn a lot from this because you know i think a, a huge part about getting better at call of duty is to watch other players gameplays and kind of break down exactly you know what they're doing so it's kind of a two-way effect i help you guys get better and i also can help myself get better you know picking up on some of these uh these tips and some of these settings obviously not the motion blur but all right he's on a 16 i believe right now smart play just wait 17 nice he's on an 18 There we go, 19, 20, nice. My man's playing hella smart. Twenty-one. Get down. Woo! Tactical mask came in handy. I believe he's just running tactical mask on this gun. He's not running uh flak jacket, which is which is sketchy. But you get hit by stuns. If he didn't have tactical mask on, he 100 percent would have been dead right there. Dude, honestly, this colorblind filter is amazing. 23, nice. Just wait. Hell, he might be on max sensitivity. Ooh, 24. Just locking down middle map with the map 10. Or the map 10, the MAC 10. Twenty-five. Oh my god, this is first brutal as well. I feel like this is his first. I feel like this is like his first time actually sweating after getting diamond camo or something like that. Because he's playing incredibly smart, and his aim and his gun skill is solid. I, you know, honestly, I feel like that's what happens. To a lot of people like they don't they they just try so hard to get these camos and then like when they run like a try hard or a meta weapon they just go off this is probably what happened here because this is his first brutal and like honestly he's playing like 
like he's been doing this before. Like honestly, I was I was expecting like wait, there's no way this is his first nuke because he's playing too smart. His aim is too nice. You know what I'm saying? His map positioning just makes too much sense for him to not have a nuke. But shit, that was his first brutal, so maybe it is 28. I mean, he's playing smart, man. He's not challenging dumb gunfights at all. There we go. Nuke. His first nuke, yeah. Nuclear. Shit, it's his first nuclear. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. I'm honestly surprised it's his first nuclear. This is actually a pretty... For somebody who's playing like playing like this with Max, Max looks like a high sensitivity. He just got gun right there. Max sensitivity... He's playing on world motion blur, all this stuff. Oh my god. Theater mode looks kind of crazy. I'm surprised this is his first nuke. I mean, his teammate, I mean, he lost the game, but his teammates are junk, so. Four. He's. He, he, this man is frying, no cap. I'm not even gonna lie. Five. Man, I apologize. I sound sick. Six. He's just chopping it up, man. If he had more time, I got shot from behind. All right, I'm going to go over the MAC-10 class setup that my subscriber did use to drop his first nuke using those I'm not going to lie, horrible settings here in Black Ops Cold War. Let's go ahead and check it out. So for the back 10 he is not running an optic, obviously, because this weapon has crystal clear iron sights, and they're very easy to use at close range, medium range, as well as long ranges. So for the muzzle, he is running the HD suppressor, so he has increased muzzle flash concealment, as well as vertical recoil control. The MAC-10 is very easy to use, especially if you guys couple attachments that's going to reduce that recoil, in turn making this weapon a lot easier to use at any and all ranges and the AG suppressor is going to be a great attachment to keep you off the radar and to keep this weapon's recoil in check and manageable now for the next attachment he is running the 6.1 inch reinforced heavy barrel for increased effective damage range as well as bullet velocity overall in my opinion the absolute best barrel to run on the mac 10 because it's going to extend this weapon's lethality making it that much easier to use and that much better at medium as well as longer ranges so there's no reason not to run this barrel on this weapon and kind of the uh nice thing about it is it's not going to increase that recoil like the task force barrel does and that's exactly why we're not running this barrel on the mac 10 now for the next attachment he is running the steady aim laser so he has increased hip fire accuracy the mac 10 like we all know is a monster at close range so why not go ahead and bump up that lethality and going ahead and putting on the steady aim laser which is going to increase your hip fire accuracy now for the next attachment he's running the field agent grip for increased vertical as well as horizontal recoil control again another attachment that's going to allow this weapon to be easier to use at those medium to longer ranges and that's something we're definitely going to need when running the MAC-10 and if you guys want to be able to challenge anyone no matter what weapon they're using at any ranges here in multiplayer. Now for the next attachment we're going to go ahead and put on the Salvo 53 round fast mag just to go ahead and allow us to take out more than one player at a single time and because the MAC-10 has a very fast fire rate you're going to you're going to want to want you're going to want to want to have as many bullets in each magazine as possible as well as the fastest reload possible to stay locked and loaded so you guys can take out more than one enemy at the same time here in multiplayer and the South 53 pound fast mag is going to be the best magazine in this category now for the handle we are running the airborne elastic wrap so we get increased aim down sight time flinch resistance as well as aiming while going to prone in my opinion the absolute best handle to run on any and all ARs SMGs LMGs any aim down sight weapon here in the game you're definitely going to want to go ahead and put on the airborne elastic wrap so you guys can snap on the targets quickly get in that first shot which is going to most likely give you that guaranteed kill you're gonna have flinch resistance so you guys can maintain your aim and accuracy over ranges and hit those crucial shots to get that kill and then finally we're gonna be able to aim while going to prone making drop shotting a lot easier so you guys can win those close range ticket situations which obviously is gonna happen with an aggressive style smg like the mac 10 and then finally we're gonna go down and run the raider stock so we have increased sprint to fire time as well as aim walking movement speed 
making this weapon that much more devastating at any and all ranges. We can render weapon fast off for sprint, making this weapon that much easier to use while running and gunning, and we can also aim while walking around a lot faster, so we can pre-aim and pretty much guaranteeing us that we're ready to win each and every gunfight here in Black Ops Cold War. This is going to be the absolute best and the fastest killing MAC-10 class of the U. Now for the secondary, you can run whatever you guys want, but I like to run the Kimbo Magnums. And for the tactical, run the Stim Shot, Lethal, C4, and Field Mic as your field upgrade. And the perks, he's running Tactical Mask, Scavenger, Ninja, and all this is possible with the Gunfighter Wildcard. If you guys did enjoy this video, you guys end up checking out this class setup and dropping your most kills, your highest KD ratio, or maybe even your first snook, let me know down in the comment section in this video. And as always, everybody, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. About 75% of you guys who are watching the content each and every day are not yet subscribed, so cut that notification bell and become part of the ears family. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.